how beautiful it is seriously god it's so gorgeous i don't work today i'm super happy also look at that pencil super sick bro i don't work today i can get a lot of stuff done at the house like that garden over there i've been neglecting because i work too much and i do this every year but that's going to change. Says every person all the time. What are you up, Ravy? Me and Saf might go to the uh, beach later. <laughs> she has a split shift kind of type deal. Two massages in the morning and then she's got like four hours. So I think we're going to go to the beach. I'm going to go run my dogs here in a little bit. Just feeding my chickens. Giving them their corn and watermelons, because that's what I do. They love their watermelon, man. Watermelon, man. That's brilliant. Nope. It's going to be a fun day, a good day. A lot of things are going to get done. Decompression. But here we go. Freaking space, bro. Just about to go to the ponds or wherever we go. Tico, you're gonna fall. I probably think about it more often than I think. I probably think about it more often than I think. Do you ever wake up and think about you, I mean, you, I mean, what did you picture your life back when you were like 16, 17, even up to like 19, 20? I mean, your life's gonna evolve all the time and change because you can't control life. You can, but there's a lot you can't control. But when you were like 16, 17, thinking you were going to go to college and find this job that everyone expected you to find or do, and now you're 31 trying to make YouTube videos. <laughs> I made it, Ma! <coughs> Jeez. They come in tears. Where's the next one? Where are you, bugger? Look at the sky! 
It's coming. <coughs> it's coming in threes. They've got reinforcements. Oh, disappeared. <laughs> what do you know? Camera over here. Not here. Here. Ah! Uh, always cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Thank you. I really want to get out at the Hiawatha trailhead up here. But I don't know how many mosquitoes are out. And I don't think I... Oh, I do have my uh, jacket. So I'm gonna get out. I'm going on a little hike here. There's already been like a hundred mosquitoes that landed on my head, so I don't know if this was a good choice. But you know what? I'm doing it anyways. Holy smokes, they're bad. I said do this all the time. I should have brought bug spray because I don't gotta go to work, so I don't need to shower. <gasps> what an idiot! Alright. Well, I'm gonna get back to what I was saying earlier about life and where you thought your life was gonna go as a kid. When I was 16, I don't even remember what I uh, thought I was going to go into. I think it was uh, heavy equipment or something, probably on those lines. I grew up with uh, heavy equipment and uh, at a young age, my dad always had like an excavator at home, a dozer, a backhoe or something. So I started messing around with them when I was really young, like five, prob probably never expected to be doing a or trying to do YouTube channels at 31. But as I got older, I can feel myself getting wiser because I'm letting myself grow. I think that's uh, it's hard for a lot of people to do that are stuck in situations they just are not happy with or life they're not happy with. You have to let yourself grow. And uh, there may be things holding you back or people that are saying some things that really don't motivate you they just kind of stun your growth you just can't let that stuff get to you at all and if it gets to you too bad then you just you probably should find some new people <laughs> but I never thought I was going to be trying to do YouTube channels at 31 and uh probably the past seven years, uh, seven, eight years, I've uh, understood that nothing really matters. You have no rhyme or reason of doing many things in life. It just happens. And then when it happens, you deal with it. And a lot of people get scared to do things because they're too old or they're just not comfortable doing them and that's when you know you got to do it if you've been wanting to do something for a long time but you're just too uncomfortable doing it you probably should do it because you're probably pretty damn good at it and you probably end up being really good at it um and you probably love it like like i said these videos I've been wanting to do for about seven, eight years. I've been pretty busy in those years. So I didn't, uh, didn't do them, but the real reasoning was just, I was like nervous maybe. And uh, I guess I just didn't want to put in any work at the time. I was pretty busy. But realistically, I was just nervous and cared too much about what people would think or do or whatever. But that's changed in the recent years. God darn it's skeetery out here. Alright, I need to find Tico. I have no idea where the hell he is. Usually he comes back by now, so this is that. Uh, this could get pretty hairy. But where's Tico? Tico! Oh, I think I hear him. Damn it, the wind. I thought he's busting through the woods. Tico! Come! Come on, Tico! Well, Tico decided to run all the way back to the van without telling his father there was a ways out there, too. He is just a little son of a bitch. Does what he wants, apparently. 
Maybe he needs a little freaking spanking. Chico, you little son of a bitch. The North Country Trail. To all of you who have no idea what it is, it is a huge trail. It goes all the way from Vermont, right there, all the way down there, to North Dakota. Oh, whoa. So, they have hubs everywhere from Vermont all the way to North Dakota everywhere I've always wanted to do a hiking trip and I'm I'm going to for sure not a huge one because I gotta work but I always wanted to do one up by Grand Marais or in Marquette or maybe over to the Porcupine Mountains over in this area um, it is beautiful I mean the Lake Superior side I mean it's all beautiful but I've always wanted to do the Lake Superior side because look at that. Just follow the coast. Oh man, that'd be so much fun. And I'm going, I'm going to do it. But you can find these hubs anywhere. Like anywhere from here to here to here to here to here. North Country Trail. It is, uh, I just found out about this when I moved up here. You'll see these signs all around and they're markings on the trees. So. They pretty, they're pretty good at keeping up on the markings and everything, so yeah, you can get lost, don't get me wrong, but they uh, make it easy enough so you will not. So to any of you who ever uh, want to go hiking, want to get out of the house, look up North Country Trail. It's pretty sweet. And they have these signs all over. I'll show you the sign real quick. Nine miles, ten miles. And they have little hubs, pick up and drop off areas. So if you and your buddies want to go out on a trail, take one car, you want to do a two night trip, take your car, drop it off at one of the checkpoints or hubs, and then drive the other car back to the other hub, and then take off for two days. And then they'll have a car at the end of the road, and you can come pick up the other car when you're done, you know? Uh -huh. All right. Well, staff just left for work, so it's time to get some chores done before she gets home so we can do something. The question is, do I mow the lawn first, or do I go in the garden first? I think I'm going to mow the lawn since it's still kind of cool out. It's going to start warming up. Get that done, go in the garden, pick all the tomatoes, then, who knows? Check out this 21 inch deck here. Damn, that's good. I, uh, I mowed half of the lawn. We're gonna switch her up a little bit, get in the garden. Cause I have a lot of picking to do. So many tomatoes, so many. Bag one.
all Roma tomatoes. And I have not even gone through a smidge of what we have. It's probably about eight pounds. I wish I had a scale so I could uh, weigh it and see if I was right. Six pounds, a pound off there, bud. I uh, just remembered I need to go get some chicken feed. And do you ever start doing things and then realize you gotta do something else? And if you know if you don't do that thing right away, you're gonna forget. I do. So I'm going to the feed station to get some chicken feed. Also, this stand tripod that I have, it's coming in handy. I'm just, it's way easier than hold the phone, you know? Yes. Me and Seth just realized we didn't eat today. It is like 12 something. So we're gonna go out to eat and get some food, you know? We're hungry. Going to the, one of the two restaurants that I like in St. Ignace. This is my first time vlogging or doing any videos in public. Well, I got the drawers done. Took me longer than expected. I ended up uh, plugging in the phone, downloading a bunch of files and videos to the computer so I could delete some videos from my phone so it run, wouldn't run so slow. And then I got caught up in editing and stuff. So I edited like three quarters of it. I just gotta add music and that's the funnest part. But uh, gonna make Saf some dinner here. She's at work. Gotta figure out what we're gonna eat. Honestly, I think we can just do ice cream. Or some like... Hot dogs. Since I have a thousand, since that's what I do for a living is make hot dogs. So I've got like a bunch of free samples. Actually. I think we're going to do some uh, venison chops because I love me some venison and it's been a long time. Just a fat venison. So just going to need to unthaw this and then uh, get her going, bud. Just got eat, done. Uh, just got done eating dinner. Can't think. So tired. About to go play some guitar on the fire with Saf. But that was the day. I was planning on doing a lot more, but it's recorded way too much. But if you made it this far, thank you. Thank you so much. Seriously, it's awesome. It's either you're just trying to support me, or I actually make some good videos. I don't know. Either way. Um, we're gonna play some music around the fire. I'll do a couple recordings too. So, <clears throat> well, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, sweet. Appreciate it. Love you all. Peace.
Bye.